I'm shocked at how many people are asleep, especially in occult circles. People who are supposedly awake enough to see what's going on, to see beyond the agenda of those in control, and not awake. I was brought up to respect my elders, to do as my peers told me, but from an early age I could see that many of these elders and these peers had no idea what they were saying or doing. They just followed a program and did what they had to do for the benefit of being respected. There were many amongst my elders and my peers who had no common sense or logic to their actions. As I've said before, common sense is not very common. And as a child, I could not understand why some people did stupid things or what to me seemed to be stupid. As an adult, I now recognise that many of their actions were for that person's own agenda. But coming back to the overall agenda, well, the overall agenda of those who are in charge of the running of this world, much seems illogical. It's the 21st century and people are still starving, people are still living on the streets, and people still have mental health issues. And people still also strive to keep up with the Joneses. We were warned about this by both Gurdjieff and Rudolf Steiner. The lunatic asylum that Gurdjieff says we live in is run by lunatics, and lunatics follow that agenda and keep the machinations of this type of world running oiled. Gurdjieff shows us through his books how to live in this lunatic asylum and not to be affected by it. Yet many people in the Gurdjieff work don't actually do the work. Many of them just wear it as a badge. Oh, look at me, I study Gurdjieff. And I could say this for theosophists as well. There's many theosophists that read theosophy, but they don't actually do the theosophical work. Look at me, I read theosophy. And even a few anthroposophists. Oh, look at me, I'm an anthroposophist. There are some that actually do what the work is. But what I notice is that maybe most of these people look at it from an academic situation, which was not the way that Gurdjieff, for example, was showing them how to do this work. I'm actually stunned at how many people in the Gurdjieff work steeply follow the agenda of the lunatic asylum. They seem oblivious to the fact that we are living in the times Gurdjieff, Steiner and J.G. Bennett warned us about materialism-driven societies with an agenda to keep people soulless and an agenda to have little regard for the planet and its other inhabitants. J.G. Bennett, who studied this situation with open eyes, could see the future due to his, well, his, his days with Gurdjieff. He learned how to awaken, how to be aware. Bennett recognised Gurdjieff to be an awakened teacher not a sleepy teacher from his childhood or a peer or elder trying to indoctrinate him into the system. I also want to recommend Bennett's um, talk about all this that he gave in the 1970s. I did do a recording of it and I'll leave a link at the end of this show. I'm realising that many people in the Gurdjieff work are in some delusion that they are awake and as I watch them fall foul to the agenda and not to recall the warnings that J.G. Bennett and Gurdjieff gave us then I hold my head in my hands in despair and realise that my peers in the Gurdjieff work are, alas, asleep. Souls are not being developed. The last few shows, or well, the last few years of this shit show, should have been a, a shock to these people and awakened them, but for many of them, they just snuggled down deeper into their beds and followed the agenda. When really what they should have done was thrown back the covers and jumped out of their bed, shook off that snooze and awakened to life and what is real. And Gurdjieff writes in all and everything, And I am not greatly disturbed on this account, because such ignorance has already now become in the life of people, also in the order of things. Such a blessing arose and now flourishes everywhere on earth, thanks to that extraordinary new disease of which, for the last twenty to thirty years, for some reason or other, especially in the majority of those persons from among all the free sexes fall ill, who sleep with half-open eyes, and whose faces are in every respect fertile soil for the growth of every kind of pimple. This strange disease is manifested by this, that if the invalid is somewhat literate and his rent is paid for three months in advance, he, she or it unfeignedly begins to write either some instructive article 
or a whole book. And that's from page seven of All and Everything. The shocks of the last few years have awakened many people, people who aren't involved in any kind of esoteric path, and they don't know where to turn. Gurdjieff and J.G. Bennett were trying to prepare people, people who would be there in the 21st century, ready to help these newly awakened people. These people need a teacher or a guide who's awake enough to help them to a safe haven, where they can be aided in working on themselves, that they develop their souls and find the connection in the world what their role is in this universe, to be a part of the harmonious reciprocal maintenance and thus connect with his endlessness, the divine source of all. And Rudolf Steiner writes this. Now the question arises, what is it in fact that present day researchers are completely unable to consider and indeed do not wish to consider? They acknowledge that there is a soul realm outside the realm of consciousness they seek for a soul realm outside the realm of consciousness, but are not able to lift themselves up to a recognition of spirit itself. Spirit can never be grasped in any way by the concept of the unconscious, since the spirit that is unconscious is like a human being without a head. I have previously pointed out to you that there are individuals who, as a result of certain conditions of hysteria, walk down the street and only see the bodies, but not the heads of other people. Not being able to see anyone's head is a particular type of illness. Among today's researchers, there are those who believe that they apprehend the whole spirit. But by positing it to be the unconscious, they show that they have fallen for the delusion of believing that there could be an unconscious spirit, a spirit without consciousness, when we cross the threshold of consciousness. Whether in the right way, as we always describe it on the basis of spiritual scientific research, or in an abnormal pathological manner as always pertains in cases that confront psychoanalysts and this is what I'm kind of concerned about there's too many people in the Gurdjieff work in the Steiner work who are only listening to their consciousness and not dealing with their subconsciousness that's probably screaming at them to wake up and see what's really going on but thank you for watching thank you for listening to my little rant I am concerned about the future but we need we need people to be awake to be aware and to sound the alarm thankfully there are some people out there that are being the lighthouse that is needed that I wonderful beckoning beam of light for those that are traveling the rough seas so I hope you can find them because they are there and as I've said before, beware of ego people. But there are people that are willing to help you and I move on in our work and be the sole beings that we are supposed to be.